Welcome scientists, it's Miss Gisa. Today we're going to continue learning about mosquitoes. If you didn't get to watch our other episode about mosquitoes, be sure to do that. Today we'll be reading The Life Cycle of a Mosquito, written by Bobby Kalman. What is a mosquito? A mosquito is a tiny flying insect. Insects are invertebrates which means they don't have backbones. Mosquitoes are best known for their buzzing and their bite, but there's much more to learn about these amazing animals. Let's take a look at a mosquito's body. You can see mosquitoes have two antennae, a head, two large compound eyes, a thorax, and an abdomen. Mosquito also has a thin palpus to suck liquids. Every mosquito has a palpus, but a female also has a proboscis. Mosquitoes belong to a group of insects called true flies. A true fly has one pair of wings, a small body, and a mouth with sucking parts. Let's take a look at the life cycle of a mosquito. Every animal goes through a set of stages or changes called a life cycle. First, it's born or hatches from an egg. The animal then grows and changes until it becomes an adult. As an adult, a mosquito can reproduce or make babies. All mosquitoes go through these stages during their life cycle. A mosquito begins its life inside an egg. A baby mosquito called a larva hatches from the egg. As the larva grows, its cuticle or skin becomes tight. The larva then molts or sheds its cuticle. When the larva is fully grown, it molts for the last time. The larva is now called a pupa. Its body changes completely during this stage. The set of changes that takes place in its body is called metamorphosis. Scientists, can you say that big word, metamorphosis? Once its body is finished changing, the pupa's cuticle splits open. An imago, or new mosquito, emerges or crawls out. It will soon be mature. Mature mosquitoes are able to mate or join together to make babies. After a female has mated, she lays her eggs, and a new life cycle begins with each egg. Every mosquito begins its life cycle inside an egg. Most mosquito eggs are laid in water. Some mosquito species lay their eggs in places that will soon be immersed or covered by water, such as dips where puddles form. The eggs look like tiny seeds as they float on the water. They stay afloat on air bubbles at the water's surface. As soon as the egg has been laid, an embryo or developing baby starts growing inside. The embryo develops with its head pointing downward. The egg hatches after a few days. Most eggs that are laid at the same time also hatch at the same time. The larvae or larvas that emerge from the eggs then begin the next stage of their life cycles. If the air outside grows cold, embryos may delay their development inside their eggs. Cold temperatures usually mean that winter is coming. When the temperature drops, the embryo become dormant or inactive. A blanket of snow helps protect them from wind and ice. The embryos do not become active again until winter passes. When the weather warms up, they continue growing. When a larva emerges from its egg, it swims downward one or two inches before bobbing up to the water's surface. The larva does not look like an adult. Its long, thin body is covered with hairs. The hairs help keep the larva steady in an up and down position in the water, as shown below. Hairs also help the larva sense movement around its body. Larvae must breathe air in order to stay alive. Many species breathe by poking their tails out of the water. There are air tubes inside their tails. 
The larvae use their air tubes to breathe the air above the water surface. A larva must eat a lot in order to grow. To feed the larva waves the bristles, or hairs, around its mouth. The bristles move through the water several times per second to sweep food towards the larva's mouth. Larva eat tiny plants and animals as well as other particles or pieces of food floating in the water. The larva eats as much as it can to grow bigger. Its cuticle does not grow, however. When a larva becomes too big for its cuticle, it molts. A new cuticle is ready under the old one. Each larva molts a total of four times. When a mosquito larva molts for the last time, it becomes a pupa. The pupa's cuticle is soft at first, but it soon hardens. A mosquito goes through the biggest changes of its life when it is a pupa. The pupa does not look like a larva. Its body is now curved. Its head and thorax are joined to form a cephalothorax. Scientists, can you say that word? Cephalothorax. The cephalothorax floats near the water's surface. Two trumpets or breathing tubes are attached to it. The pupa must rise regularly so that the trumpets poke above the water. The pupa can breathe air only when the trumpets break the water's surface. At first, the body of an imago is very soft. The imago must stay hidden until it is finished growing. It flies to a sheltered place as soon as it is able, usually about half an hour after it emerges. After another day or two, the imago has completely matured. During the last stage of its life cycle, the mosquito is no longer able to live underwater because it can no longer swim. Instead, it can fly. Before long, the adult is ready to look for its first meal. Male and female adult mosquitoes feed regularly on fruit juices and nectar, a sweet liquid made by flowers. Females of many species also need to eat a special meal, your blood. Adult mosquitoes are less active in cool weather. During the winter, some species of mosquitoes hibernate. They often hibernate in sheltered places such as animal dens, hollow logs, and even the basements of buildings. By the time a mosquito is a few days old, it is ready to mate. Mating usually takes place at daybreak or at sunset. In some species, male mosquitoes form a gathering called a swarm near a swarm marker such as a building, a tree, or even an animal. When females find a swarm, they fly into it one by one. Their wing beat, or the sound of their beating wings, lets the male know they are female. Many males approach the female, but only one mates with her. Mosquitoes mate by joining their abdomens. Sperm from the male's body then fertilizes the female's eggs or causes babies to grow inside them. Females usually mate only once in their lives, but males mate as often as they can. Figures. After a mosquito mates with a male, her eggs are fertilized. Some mosquito species need to eat a special meal before they can lay their eggs, however. As soon as a female from one of those species has mated, she sets off to find a blood meal. Animal blood contains the nutrients or food energy she needs for her eggs. When the female finds an animal to bite, she lands on it. She uses two pairs of stylets or cutting parts to break the surface of the animal's skin. She then pushes her proboscis into the skin to find a blood vessel or a tube through which blood moves. The proboscis has two tubes. The mosquito sucks up an animal's blood through one of the tubes. The mosquito's saliva enters the animal's blood vessel through the other tube. The saliva stops the animal's blood from clotting or thickening. Blood that does not clot flows easily while the mosquito drinks as much as she wants. It takes less than two minutes for a mosquito to fill her stomach with blood. A full stomach makes the mosquito's body heavy, so it is difficult for her to fly at first. When she is able, she flies to another surface on which to digest her meal. The mosquito then finds a safe place to rest for a few days. During this time, her eggs grow inside her body. She leaves her sheltered resting place to eat nectar only a few times. When a female is ready to lay her eggs, 
she finds a good place for laying. All species of mosquitoes lay their eggs in or near water because the eggs need to be covered with water when they hatch. Some species lay eggs on moist ground that is regularly covered by water. Most species, however, lay eggs on the surface of standing water or water that is still. Ponds, marshes, pools, puddles, rain barrels, bird baths, and clogged gutters are common places for mosquitoes to lay eggs. Females of some mosquito species lay their eggs one by one and set each egg afloat. Other species attach their eggs to plants. Many mosquitoes create egg rafts. The rafts are made up of 100 to 300 eggs. To create a raft, a female holds the eggs between her legs as she lays them, as shown on this page. Some species guard their egg rafts, but most set the rafts afloat and never see them again. Most females die shortly after they lay eggs for the first time. A female that survives longer, however, can lay more eggs. She may store some sperm in her body after mating. The sperm can then be used to fertilize more eggs. Before she lays the new eggs, a female must eat another blood meal. Okay, scientists, are you ready to use my mosquito figures to review the life cycle? Let's go. Okay, little scientists, let's review the life cycle of a mosquito using my safari life cycle mosquito models. All right, so what happens first? Just like all of our other life cycles that we've learned about this year, which one? That's right, the eggs. A female mosquito needs to lay her eggs in water, usually water that's not moving, that's stagnant. So in a pond or in a marsh, um, she'll lay her eggs one at a time laying several hundreds in total. Some species of mosquitoes lay their eggs in connected rafts, and that's what you're seeing here. This is called a raft. But other mosquitoes lay their eggs separately in water. Now, what do you think comes next? That's right. The second stage is the larva stage. In a couple days, the mosquito eggs hatch into larvae. Now this is an active growing stage where the larvae eat all the time and shed their skin as they grow. They stay in the water where the eggs were laid, eating as much as they can to keep growing. What do you think happens next? That's right, the pupa. Here is the pupa. After the larvae shed their skin several times, they enter the pupa stage. Like most insects, this is an inactive stage where the mosquito transitions into an adult. It takes only about two days to complete the stage. After this, the mosquito is an adult. There's our adult mosquito. After its pupa splits open, an adult emerges still in the water in which the eggs were laid. It takes only a few minutes for its wings to dry before the mosquito can take flight. Only female mosquitoes feed on blood, which they need for nutrition to be able to lay their eggs. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you learned a lot of new things about mosquitoes. Remember to Hit that like button if you enjoyed this lesson. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss any more.